My name is Justin Stevens. And I'm Isabella Ascar. Well, now that the intros are out of the way, let's have a warm welcome for our Off the Wire freshman, Isabella. Thank you, Justin. I'm actually a sophomore. No, no, no. You, no, I mean like you're an Off the Wire freshman, like it's your first semester Justin, working. Justin, Justin, I'm a sophomore, okay? You're just a freshman. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm a sophomore. And, and this, this is, is the news. news. Russian President Vladimir Putin continues to shower his critics with love, and by love, I mean poison. Russian opposition leader Vladimir Karamursa has unexpectedly fallen into a coma by an unknown substance. So if you're going to Russia anytime soon, and you don't enjoy chasing your vodka with radioactive plutonium, I suggest you frame a picture of this shirtless manly man known as Vlad the Impaler, I mean, Vlad the Great. A mom was furious after a daycare worker breastfed her son. She was later reported saying that the daycare worker was not the breast choice. Betsy DeVos has just been confirmed as education secretary by a tie-breaking vote since Vice President Mike Pence swooped in to save the day. I can't believe this. Why are we leaving cabinet positions up to a glorified bald eagle? Just last week, the United States Bacon Reserves announced that they've hit a 50-year all-time low. In other news, President Trump was at a loss for words after hearing this as it was the first time he couldn't blame something on Muslims. Archaeologists recently found the oldest pair of prostate stones ever, suggesting that a man was in complete agony 12,000 years ago. This now gives a completely new meaning to the term Stone Age. Possibly the most important news you need to know is regarding the controversy surrounding President Trump's bathrobe. Trump's press secretary, Sean Spicer, angrily denies the existence of a bathrobe in Trump's wardrobe. I mean, how could the New York Times get this wrong? Trump obviously keeps all of his robes in Mar-a-Lago. Apparently, Donald Trump's cabinet team is holding meetings in the dark as they can't find the right light switch in the White House. I guess this gives a new meaning to how many billionaires does it take to screw in a light bulb? Ha, 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 ha. After the Super Bowl, an alt-right leader said that Lady Gaga's halftime performance was actually a satanic ritual. Of course it was a satanic ritual. Who do you think paid for it? And for those of you who didn't watch the Super Bowl, who am I kidding? If you didn't watch the Super Bowl, you're probably from Iraq, Iran, Libya, Syria, Somalia, Sudan, or Yemen. Microsoft recently pulled the plug on a prototype Twitter chat robot after it continually screamed slurs ripped Obama, and denied the Holocaust in a string of tweets. Many people were upset with Microsoft as they felt like the robot had a great future in American politics. And now to our foreign correspondent, Mary. Thanks, Isabella. Ever want to kill someone or something but can't because they're some type of endangered species? Today, we bring you a relatable story from Spring, Texas where a woman is battling quite the sticky situation. A bee problem. We're talking 50,000 bees. Besides having several residents now living in her house rent free, they're leaking their liquid gold down the walls. Make it rain, honey. Honey, this sounds like money to me. Cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> The spring homeowner said, it's coming through other places, and you can see it's coming through cracks and crevices. Oh my god, <laughs> sounds like a page from my diary. <laughs> the queen bee, no, not that queen bee, still roams freely in the house, which means more honey for this homeowner to come. Back to you, Isabella. Thanks, Mary. In Oregon, the notorious runaway pig named Piggy Smalls has finally been apprehended after being on the run from cops for months. Cops are now investigating his involvement in the murder of two pork. This past weekend, a flaming hot Cheeto that apparently looked very similar to Harambe was sold for almost $100,000 on eBay. You know what? That's it. I'm done. I'm done with America in 2017. I gave it a month. Nope. 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 That's all we have for today, folks. And remember, never, ever trust anyone who sincerely enjoys the taste of sparkling water.